Hey, it's Coach Justin from Ultimate Baseball Training, and if you want to improve your hitting, stay tuned because this video is really going to help you out. Let's just get straight into it. In a lot of our videos, I talk about the importance of hitting the ball where it's pitched, but today I want to go one step further into that concept and talk to you about the timing arc that you need to be aware of if you truly want to be a great hitter, right? So what I mean by hitting the ball where it's pitched, I have a ball on a tee uh, right here, okay? What I mean by hitting the ball where it's pitched is on an inside pitch, right? Inside pitch, those are the pitches that I wanna pull because it's inside, I wanna keep my hands tucked in and I wanna pull that baseball. On a pitch right over the middle of the plate, on that pitch, I want to stay in the middle of the field. And then on an away pitch, I'll move the T once. On an away pitch, we let the ball travel a little bit more, and those are the pitches that we want to take to the opposite field. So when I say hit the ball where it's pitched, that's what I mean. A middle pitch, stay in the middle. An inside pitch, pull it. An away pitch, hit it to the opposite field. But the thing that you have to realize, and this is what the timing arc is, you have to realize that with each different contact point, right? We've got our inside contact point, our middle contact point, and then our away contact point. With each different contact point, there's different timing. So this is what I like to call the timing arc. Now I think the best way to illustrate this to you is to pay attention to my shoulders, right? So throughout this entire demonstration, I just want you to watch my shoulders. But we all agree that with different pitch locations, there's different contact points, right? So on an inside pitch, depending where that pitch is actually at, I would make contact somewhere about right here, right? And on a middle pitch, it'd be there. On a away pitch, about right there. So we all agree that there's different contact points for each pitch location. Now, Pretend that the pitcher throws me an inside pitch. So I need to get my hands and my barrel in a position to about here to make contact with that pitch. Now where are my shoulders at? You got a good visual of the angle there? So that's on an inside pitch. My shoulders have to do a complete full turn pretty much to get to this position here. On a middle pitch, however, they turn slightly less, right? On a middle pitch, they only need to turn about right there. So you see that angle right there? compared to this right there, a little bit different, right? And then on an away pitch, they have to turn even less. On an away pitch, they only have to turn here. So that's an away pitch, middle pitch, inside pitch. So you see how on an inside pitch, right, that's kind of at the front of the arc and my shoulders have to almost do a full turn in order to then get my hands in a position so I can get my barrel on the baseball. You see that? So that's the timing arc. So the problem with this, this is why you need to be aware of what the timing arc is, is what pitches are the hardest to handle? What are the hardest to get to? Imagine a guy's on the mound and he's throwing pretty hard, he's throwing gas. What pitch tends to jam you and really tie you up? It's the inside pitch, right? Why? Because number one, he's throwing hard, but why on that pitcher? Why can you handle the outside pitch? But if he throws you hard and inside, why is that so difficult and why do we get jammed? Well, it's because your timing arc is off. On an inside pitch, this is the most important thing that you need to understand, on an inside pitch, when you recognize that it's an inside pitch, you really have to pull your hands in close to your body, you have to stay connected, and you have to hit the ball out here. And so if it's an inside pitch, but you're trying to hit the ball here, you're gonna get jammed, your timing's off. You're not prepared to hit the ball out in front. And even worse, if your bat's still back here and the pitch is on you and it's inside, there's no way you're gonna be able to make contact with that ball, right? So that's the problem is the hardest pitch to cover, right, takes the longest to get to. What I mean by that is here's our starting position. On an outside pitch, all I have to do is turn my shoulders a little bit and boom, my barrel's already on the ball. But on an inside pitch, everything has my shoulders, my hands, my barrel, everything has a further distance to travel to get to that contact point. So you need to be aware that each pitch location, each contact point, has different timing. This timing arc is the reason why it's so important for you to time the fastball. You have to prepare yourself for if that pitcher throws you an inside fastball, you have to be prepared to pull your hands in when you recognize it's an inside pitch, pull your hands in, stay connected, and hit the ball out in front. You got multiple things working against you because 
an inside pitch, your body has the furthest distance to go and you have to make contact out in front. So you see how I have less time to hit this pitch than I do this pitch here. So work on this off the tee, work on it in batting practice, and then hopefully it's gonna naturally kind of translate to a real game situation if you work on it in practice enough. But when it's an inside pitch and you recognize it's an inside pitch, again, you should be already timed for it because it's easier to time the fastball and then if it's something off speed, hold up just a tick, just a little tiny tick, hold up, keep your hands back, and then hit an off speed pitch. It's easier to do that and slightly put on the brakes than it is to time an off speed pitch and then try and speed up at the last second. You're never gonna be able to handle the heat, especially the inside heat, okay? So time the fastball and adjust accordingly and then make sure that if you recognize it's an inside pitch, boom, you gotta go. You gotta pull your hands in, you gotta hit the ball out in front of the plate like this, you gotta stay connected, and you gotta pull that baseball. If it's a middle pitch, you have a little bit more time than on an inside pitch, right? So on a middle pitch, what you wanna do is just focus on staying in the middle of the field, right? Staying in the middle of the field, you're gonna make contact pretty much even with your front foot, and then on an away pitch, always remember, your T placement, put it further back, right? Because you have a longer time, you can really let the ball travel, see it a long time, and hit it a little bit deeper. So that's it, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you liked it, then please leave me a thumbs up, leave me a like, I'd really appreciate that. If you have suggestions for future videos, leave them in the comment section below. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn your notifications on. That way you're notified whenever we release new baseball videos every single week. Before you go, if you haven't done so already, I want you to grab my free Bat Speed Boosters workout. This is a free workout that's gonna quickly help you add five, 10, heck, even 15 miles an hour to your bat speed, which is gonna result in more power, more doubles, more home runs, which is what it's all about. So all you have to do to grab that is just click on the link in the first comment. I'll pin that comment so it's easy for you to find. Just click that link, follow the instructions on that page, and I'll get you your free Bat Speed Boosters workout. Out, okay, so go ahead and do that right now. Thank you so much for watching today's video, and I'll see you next time.